Hey y'all, welcome back to my second Ipsy bag for the month. This one is the regular $10 glam bag. Um, if you're not aware, Ipsy is $10 per month. It comes monthly. Um, it comes with uh, five trial travel size items. Um, and it comes with a bag. And yeah, that is one of my favorite subscriptions. Ipsy Plus is kind of killing it right now, but the regular Ipsy is pretty good too. Um, my neighbor just opened hers over here last night and she got so much good stuff. She got like a pure highlighter and Tarte's Manita Mascara and a Ciate gloss. Like her bag was banging. I was really impressed. So I'm excited for her because she's kind of a newbie to makeup. She's always done like the basics, foundation, mascara, but like that's about it. She doesn't really do a whole lot. She was like, what is highlighter? You need to show me how to use this. Like I was like, oh, for sure. Like I'm gonna get you to my obsession point real fast. <laughs> Cause it's awesome. But anyway, this is the bag for this month it says and off she went to change the world on it i like this it's nice and shiny and kind of a rose gold color not a huge fan of the blue accent but it's fine the pole is a little star i do like that um and let's dig in i'm trying to remember i have a lot of things what did I add on and what did I not? I think those were both, yeah, those were add-ons. I did order add-ons. I was trying to remember what I added on and what actually came in the bag. So the first thing that was actually in my bag actually wasn't in the bag because it didn't fit, if you can believe that. Um, it's from Lottie London. It's the Shimmer Squad. Ooh, and that's a good sized pan. It's in the shade The Good Girl. Let's see if I can get this open without dropping it. I definitely dropped Annie's highlighter last night. I was like, oh. But I had an extra magnetic palette, so I gave her that. I was like, don't be me and drop this every time you try to open it. Ooh, that's got some shimmer to it. I like that, that's pretty. And it's got a little bit of a pink tone to it, but it's not overly like colored and pigmented. Excited. Um, oh, and there's a little cruelty free bunny on it. Yay, love that. Uh, card, it does, norm well, maybe not. I thought it was supposed to, talk about what I got now. That's why they made them bigger, but maybe not. I don't know. Still digging. The next thing out. Oh, Annie got this too. I've never heard of this brand. This is from Disco Kitten. It's an illuminating diamond peel off mask. So that's interesting. So like any of the peel off masks, you put it on, leave it for 20 minutes until it dries. But then it says to rinse off. Oh yeah, and then gently peel off, rinse off any extra. So we'll give that a shot. We'll have a girl say and do our masks. From Morphe, Morphe's cruelty free. I got a bronzer. And this looks super dark and super warm. So I don't think I'm gonna swatch this. I think I'm going to pass it on to somebody with a darker skin tone or even just a warmer skin tone because that is gonna be, like I would have to be real careful with something that dark, I feel like. Uh, it is in the shade Enemy. I don't know what my dog is doing over there. From 
what I think is Jolie. I got a luxe cream matte. Ooh, another cruelty free bunny. Hi, pumpkin. Do you want to say hi? Come here. Come here. Everybody say hi to pumpkin. Did you come see what mommy was doing? Don't please don't lick my face. Mommy doesn't like kisses. <laughs> Are you gonna come hang out? No, you're just going to be annoying because you want attention. Uh huh. It's not food. Nothing is food. I'm sorry. I know. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible that they don't send me food. I'm sorry. Ooh, it's in a nice like frosted container. That's cute. And I have a feeling, ooh, yeah. This is my shade. Oh, I will totally rock that. That is so pretty. And it smells really good. And we'll see if that dries down a little bit here. And then the last thing in here is from Yenza. It's a BC foundation, BB and CC full coverage foundation. And it's got SPF 40 in it. Interesting. It's in the shade light neutral. Normally a BB or CC cream is not full coverage. So that's kind of interesting. Mm, might be a little bit dark, but it's not gonna be too bad. This is it swatch, so it matches my hand pretty good. So that's a good start anyway. Might have to take this with me on vacation and try it out. It does seem kind of lightweight, not super thick or anything. I will give that a shot. And that is everything that actually came in my bag. So I got what looks to be, um, cause this is almost an ounce. So it may not be quite full size, but I bet this is close to, or a full sized liquid lipstick. A little sample of foundation, a peel off mask. A Morphe bronzer and this is a pretty good size bronzer too it's a full three grams um, so that honestly may be full size or pretty close to it as well and then a Lottie London highlighter so which is gorgeous so I'm pretty excited about this um, the only thing that I'm not gonna use um, from these products is probably the Morphe bronzer um, and if I didn't already have a ton of bronzer I might try it and just see how it goes but I have so much bronzer anyway that I'd rather just pass it on to somebody and yeah so I'm pretty like for ten dollars even if like I only use one or two things I feel like I definitely got my money wor money's worth from this bag so I'm pretty freaking excited and then my three add-ons I got these brushes which were $3 a piece. Um, one of them is from a brand called Chic or Chic, something like that. So it's just kind of a big like blush or contour type brush. It does feel nice and fluffy. And then this was a $3 add-on as well. It's a precision angle brush from Moda. So it's just kind of a little angled eye brush and it's nice and soft. And then I, this might've been, no, I think this was a $3 add on too. I think this was a $3 add on cause I don't think I would have paid 12. It might've been a $12 add on though. I cannot remember for sure, but this is an Ofra highlighter. So either way I'm okay with it. And this is in the shade Star Island. I have more than enough highlighters, but 
when I saw this as an add-on, I could not help myself because, I mean, it's an over-highlighter. Like, who can help themselves, honestly? So, look at the bling. And they're, like, blingy without being, like, overtly, like, glittery and, like, you know, you put glitter on your face. They're just so pretty. And this is not the shade that I have yet, so I'm pretty excited about it. So, I'm really excited. This new add-on thing that Ipsy has going is seriously the bomb. And last month I didn't get that much. I think I just got like a brush or two. But this month I was like, okay, how many things can I add? And then trying to like narrow it down, honestly. So, I'm really excited about this. Um, if you guys have any questions about Ipsy, leave those below. If you got an Ipsy bag this month, tell me below what you got and what you think of what you got. Um, if you've tried any of these products, because these are all new to me, um, leave your thoughts on the products below. And, oh, go join my giveaway. I'm doing a giveaway on my Stila Foundation review. I will link it below. Go leave a comment on that video and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And I'm going to be drawing for that, not next week, but the week after. I said originally in the video it was gonna be two weeks out, but I'm going on vacation next week. So it's gonna be hard to like draw, like I could draw this week, but then like getting it shipped out might not happen for another week. So I'm just gonna wait and draw for that when we get back. And then I can ship it right out um, as soon as the winter gets back to me with their information. So go comment on that video and I will see you guys later.